We now present a novel therapeutic approach to locally advanced pancreatic cancer consisting of endoscopic ultrasound-guided implantation of a brachytherapy device called phosphorus-32 microparticles, or Oncosil. Oncosil is an experimental medical device intended for use in brachytherapy that carries the radioactive beta emitter P32 inside inactive silicon particles. These particles cause direct damage to cancer cell DNA. Through this mechanism, P32 is able to stop cancer cells from multiplying, which leads to tumor shrinkage. It has been designed to be injected directly into the target tumor under EUS guidance. P32 microparticles are manufactured and activated in a nuclear reactor in Germany. The radioactive substance is then shipped to the study center where it is handled by nuclear medicine personnel. 28 days must be allowed between placing an order and availability of P32 at the hospital. We now present our first experience with P32 brachytherapy in a patient with locally advanced pancreatic cancer. A 72-year-old gentleman presented with epigastric pain radiating to the mid-back. CT of the abdomen showed a 5 cm by 3.6 cm mass located in the pancreatic body. The CA199 marker was markedly increased. EUS was performed to further examine the mass, and EUS-guided fine needle aspiration cytology revealed adenocarcinoma. The constellation of findings was consistent with unresectable locally advanced pancreatic adenocarcinoma. Treatment options were discussed with the patient. The fulfirinox and gemcitabine plus nab paclitaxel regimens were reviewed. The patient was informed about the ongoing study of a radioactive device that would be implanted into the tumor in conjunction with chemotherapy, and he opted to be treated on this protocol. Oncopac-1 clinical trial is a prospective, interventional, open-label, single-arm pilot study aiming to determine the safety of P32 when implanted directly into the pancreatic tumors using EUS for patients with unresectable, locally advanced pancreatic cancer undergoing chemotherapy. The EUS-guided implantation takes place during the fourth week of the first cycle of chemotherapy. The chemotherapy regimen is resumed after implantation. Radiation safety is an important consideration in the use of P32 microparticles. The beta emissions from P32 can present an inhalation, skin, and eye dose hazard. Consequently, controlled procedures should be undertaken to minimize potential contamination risks associated with preparation and delivery of this substance. Appropriate personnel protective equipment and adequate shielding should be used at all times during pre- and post-implantation. All radiation workers in the treatment facility are monitored to ensure that the radiation exposures are minimized. A monitor is used to assess operational areas for P32 contamination. In case of any spills, a radiation contamination spill kit appropriate for P32 is available for immediate use. P32 microparticles must be used within 24 hours of preparation. If the preparation was performed more than 7 days after reference date, the suspension must be used immediately. A nuclear medicine technologist or a radiopharmacist must dispense the dose and transport it to the endoscopy unit in an appropriate transport box. Here is the equipment needed in the endoscopy procedure room. EUS was performed to deliver the P32 into the pancreatic tumor. A 22 gauge needle was used to puncture the tumor using a transgastric approach via an avascular angle. The only personnel authorized to physically depress the syringe containing P32 suspension are the nuclear medicine physician and the radiation oncologist. The stylet was withdrawn and the P32 was injected in the center of the tumor using a needle tracking technique by pulling the needle back when the injection became difficult. One cc of saline was used to flush the P32 remaining in the needle into the tumor and then the needle was withdrawn back into the sheath. The injection of P32 was seen as an echogenic blush within the tumor. Removal of the scope requires careful handling. The scope tip should be held downwards over a clinical waste bag with enough gauze to catch and hold any remaining fluid. The tip should then be rinsed with 50 milliliters of water. As seen here, 
a radiation monitor is used to detect any radioactive contamination, and in case of any radioactivity, a decontamination kit is available for immediate use. The needle assembly is removed from the scope and disposed in an appropriate radiation waste container. After completion of the implantation, the syringe containing any residual P32 suspension should be recapped and then placed into the lead transport box, which is then transferred to Radio Pharmacy for further measurement. Any disposable needles, tubing, syringes, or gauzes, gloves, and other protective clothing must be disposed of as radioactive waste and in accordance with the institution's policy. There were no immediate complications after procedure. Spec CT was performed within four hours and seven days to assess intratumoral and extratumoral distribution of the P32 microparticles. Follow-up CT scans were repeated every eight weeks to assess tumor response. SPEC-CT imaging shows an excellent intratumoral retention of activity within the pancreatic body at four hours post-implantation. Persistent localization of radioactivity in the pancreatic body was noted on the whole body image seven days later. Here is the follow-up CT scan that showed a decrease in tumor size from 5 cm by 3.6 cm at baseline to 4.2 cm by 2.8 cm at week 16, with improvement of the caliber of the splenoportal confluence. This novel treatment modality for locally advanced pancreatic cancer seems to be promising, technically feasible, well tolerated, and can offer local control. Given the 58% decrease in tumor volume in the case we presented, we believe the response is beyond what would be expected from chemotherapy alone. The ongoing trials are expected to shed further light on the safety and efficacy of P32 brachytherapy.